messy. <laughs> In real life, the behind the scenes is really not that pretty. Wife, mother and creative genius, Christine Mankies has her hands full but never misses a beat. Well, it all depends on 80. In the week, it's probably around six. And on weekends, we try for seven, but it doesn't always happen. And then again, it all depends on whether the camera crew is knocking on the door. The perfect morning for me is something quite simple with my family. Taking time out to have a beautiful breakfast, make food at home, or go out for a stroll with Aidy and my husband. from a family where we love to cook so the kitchen really plays a big part uh, we love to have friends over and cook a beautiful meal and just spend time together Yuck, nice and dirty face okay guys it's 80s morning nap so just quickly gonna have to put him down today Ian and I are making some homemade pasta Homemade pasta is actually so simple. I think a lot of people don't even realize that it's just eggs and flour and it tastes so much better. Well, I'm actually a neat freak. So my first instinct is cleaning up all around there. I used to be the person who cleaned right after we cooked, but then the food would get cold. And Ian um, really taught me how to just relax, enjoy the meal and clean afterwards. Exactly. <laughs> I guess I grew up in a, in a household where mess wasn't really a problem. Uh, I think the, the experience of being in the moment was much more important than having everything in its place and having everything neat. So uh, yeah, it took some time, um, but we're getting there. For us, um, when we built the house, whoops, I think that's, that's a mess again. <laughs> Ian and I believe in investing in quality pieces simply because we want it to last. So Caesar stone for us was a non-negotiable for the kitchen because we spend a lot of time in this space. And the surface is really important. I mean, you can see here, it needs to be waterproof and just be easy to clean for the neat freak. <laughs> Yeah, I think when you when you build a house, there's so many things that you can spend money on and so many decisions to make. Uh, I think we decided to uh, invest and spend money on uh, things that really influence our lifestyle, like yeah. being in the kitchen. It's a big part of our life. Um, with our and having one. kids now, that's like, yeah, they're also very messy. <laughs> yeah, they're obviously messy and uh, <laughs> making food together and enjoying meals together. I think it's an important part of life and having products that add value to your life in that way definitely is, uh, is worth yeah. it. First of all, I love the look, the fact that it's all white. As a photographer, I'm drawn to everything white and bright, so that was important. I love the food that comes out of the kitchen. Anything <laughs> we make uh, that we can eat together, that's the part I love the most. Yeah, it's the easy one. Christine's by far the better cook. I'm a very good apprentice though, as you can see. <laughs> I think it's generous to say that I've got a style of cooking, um, but it's definitely much more precise than Christine. Uh, I he likes measure to things. Like measure things, and I'm just about like. I read what feels a recipe. I, I read instruction manuals. Uh, I weigh things. Uh, Cookbooks for me are about the pictures, and for him, it's about the quantities. Definitely, you guys are always welcome. <laughs> Caesar Stone is always in my <laughs> I think this dough is pretty much perfect. You did a good job. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, now in winter, I like to have a fireplace going. So when the guests step in, it's nice and cozy and warm in here. And I always try to add a few small things to the table just to make them feel extra special. I'm making a centerpiece and it's greenery that I've actually put in a little bit of bleach so that's how I'm getting this monochrome look. I'm adding some beautiful linen serviettes, um, some small bowls for salt and pepper, candles and I love these glasses. It's actually for my gran and I love using them simply because they, yeah, they've got a long history. When Ian and I have friends over, we always do a bit of prep before, but when they step in, we enjoy the fact that they can just be part of the process and help us finish up the food. It just helps with that flow of the night and everyone to feel part of what's happening. Guys, my guests are here. Thanks for coming, but that's a wrap. Cheers. Next time, I'll invite you for dinner. In the meantime, subscribe to the Caesar Stone channel. 
or watch these videos over here.